Hey members, Tomu here, Sunshine Coast Golf Centre. Welcome aboard. So this little video is going to take you through all the things that you just went through with the coach, uh, signing up, running through the apps, how to operate the track man, how to change the screens, all of those types of things there. So let's start off with the first thing. So gaining access to the apps and knowing what to do with the apps. So first one that we're going to go through is our Sunshine Coast Golf Centre app. This is your online booking portal and it's also the key to get into the facility. So on this app here, if we hit click the three lines, clicking on home will give you this home screen. So it gives you all of your upcoming um, classes that are available and then also your upcoming bookings there as well. So to book a session, simply go book a session. All of the available resources will come up from there. So one hour practice sessions uh, will be part of your membership. So simply click on that. All the available days and times will then pop up. Be wary uh, if you're looking for an afternoon spot, just to add the 12 hours because it is in 24 hour time. Once you've confirmed with that, it'll then pop up on your dashboard there. From here, once you get to the facility, along the top line here, there's a button called check in. If you push that, that'll then activate the front door. You'll hear a little click, then simply just pull the door handle and away you go. If you've got any friends that you want to recommend to the facility and you want us to get in contact with them, there's a refer a friend button at the top there. Uh, and then the other one that we have is if we've got a few social events here as well. So if you go book a group event, um, any kind of you know uh, events that we have will be popping up there. So you can book yourself in to that as well. Once you get here, the next app that we're looking for is the TrackMan Golf app. So this is again your front screen. Make sure you've got indoor selected, not range. Uh, indoor is obviously all your indoor facilities. Click on quick login. On the top right corner there, you've got the QR code you can try and scan. Ultimate, alternatively, you've got the pin number up there too. So this bay here today is gonna be 7791. It'll then connect. And then you'll see I'm now signed in to the facility. Little overview on the app here too, have a bit of a play around here. Um, you've got your own profile there, so you can then you know create your bag, do a little distance charting, uh, you've got your activities there, so all the rounds that you've played, uh, any tournaments that are you know currently running, any tournaments that you're currently playing, uh, those types of things there as well. Alright, let's get started into it. So first screen is the practice screen, so on the left hand side there, click practice. You've got all these different um, practice options. If you've worked with a coach, starting with the shot analysis screen is good. So you'll see yourself already logged in. Click start. This screen here allows you just to make sure the track man is actually centered. So we should see that blue line, a blue box there where your golf ball is going to be. And then I just simply click auto target. Make sure it's you know lined up as straight as you possibly can. From here, select the club that you want to use. So you've got all your woods down the left hand side, hybrids, irons, wedges. Go ahead and click on that. So this is going to be your default screen. So the data that you have on the bottom there is just your track band preset. Probably the most important one to be able to change. So slidey bar on the bottom right corner there. Click on that. Get rid of all the stuff that you don't need. So again, if you've worked with the coach, you probably come up with one or two skills that you need to focus on. Just have those there those dotted lines there you can make them bigger or smaller you can drag the tiles you know one way or the other there as well to change this screen this view here you can click on the picture that then changes the backdrop there so you've got the 18th hole of St Andrews for example more of a driving range or you've got an actual golf hole there as well depending on what it is that you're looking to do lines down here again if you hit the the grids, that'll then give you all the different you know, grid options there as well. Four squares on the top right here, that changes the main view. So you've got all these different views you can you know, toggle through to see what you like the look of. Most common one is your tracer view there. Uh, four arrows, man minimizes and maximizes the screen. So you might have something like that where you get to see the golf shot going down the middle and then impact location as well now to the small screen to my right along the bottom here there's a button called extended screens 
click on screen two, you've got the option for the layout. You can have it completely turned off, one big screen or a split screen. And then the next one down, you can see what you want on the left hand side, the right hand side. So the options are exactly the same as what we've had showed up here in the four squares. Here they are all here. So again, uh, impact and impact location are probably my two favourites. I get to see exactly what that golf club was doing through the hitting area. Once I'm done with that, just click. Now, once we've done that, we want to quickly move on to more golf-like practice. So doing courses, playing courses is going to be a really good way of doing that. So here's a list of all the latest courses that are available. You can, you know, there's subcategories here, tour venues, all the links courses, junior tees, uh, par threes, and then you've got your full list. If you've got something specific, you can then just hit the search icon and then type in the one that you're looking for, or even start looking through what are the easiest golf courses, uh, you know, one out of five star, all the way to five out of five stars. So again, click on the course that you want, click continue. Uh, if your profile is new, you'll need to click on your name, set your handicap and then go done. As soon as you log a hand around, that'll then lock your handicap and then every round you play it, the, uh, the handicap will go up and down. Game settings, this is where you get to choose all the different formats. So you've got your game type. If you're playing by yourself, this is all the different uh, games that you have. If you've got two players, you can play an Ambrose, foursomes, the holes front nine, back nine, do you want the pin location to be easy, medium or difficult? We leave mulligans on at all times uh, just because uh, we do find there's sometimes a glitch so good to be able to get rid of that one. Putting, the presets by handicap, you can change this through here. Uh, a gimme distance will only apply when you've got a fixed putting uh, and then warm up was always set up there. In here you can also go extended screen. So remember with the feedback that we had from the uh, shot analysis screen. So if you click on this, you can go into screen two. Uh, let's say we're working with numbers here. So I select numbers, slidey bar again, all these options pop up. So I then want to make sure that I'm just selecting the one that I want. So I had club path and face to path. Click the little X. I also want to know where I'm hitting it on the golf court, golf club. And if I don't know if that's the right thing, I can simply go show preview. And then on the screen on the right, you'll see a little short little preview. Click save, save settings, and then start the game. Now that the game's loaded, you've got your tee shot, uh, sorry, warm up shots you can hit. So you can just hit shots. It's not going to record anything. Once you're ready, click ready to play. And let's just say you forgot to set up the secondary screen there, you can still go into the menu button here on the top left, go into extended screens, and then go through that same process we just did then. So a little overview here on the left hand side, this is your detail, so where's your golf ball sitting, how far it is to the hole, whether you're uphill, downhill, the power and the spin is ultimately going to be the lie of the ground. Uh, so 100%, 100%, that will change as you go into the rough, the bunker, you know, things like that. Clubs, you can simply click there and then, you know, select the club that you're actually going to be using. You can putt from off the green. So when you are putting from off the green, make sure you choose putter. Otherwise the track man won't recognize that as well. Uh, over to the right hand side here, here's your map. So clicking on the big arrow makes that map bigger. Dotted lines are going to be your out of bounds lines there. This little icon, the golf ball on a tee, allows you to actually move the ball on the tee. So if you're a slicer of the golf ball, teeing the ball up on the right hand side will give you a better angle. And if you're a drawer, you know, tend to put it more on the left hand side of the tee box there. And then all of a sudden we've got a different view there. Uh, you've got your grid there as well, so when you hit your shots, you'll get to see uh, what the lie is doing on the ground. Red is going to be the top of the hill, blue is going to be the bottom of the hill. So if you see that the red is on the left and blue is on the right, everything's moving that way, it's going to cause the golf ball more to go to the right hand side. Next one, our little drone. You can do a, a flyover of the whole golf hole, so you know what is out in front of you. You can just have a look at the greens. If you're near the green and you need to have a look at, you know, what the contours are doing, what not. Target, you know, if you hit the ball where that X mark is, that's the view that you're going to get from that shot. 
And then this is a great one when you end the trees, get the drone to go straight up so you can see what is actually in front of you. So ultimately the X is your straight line. So you can, you know, again, if you're a slice of the golf ball, you can point it there so you don't have to actually aim left in the screen there and just swing and hit straight. So the ball start there, you know, curve back to the middle of the fairway, or you can, you know, purposely aim a little bit more to the left-hand side. That's probably two ways to, to do your aim. A uh, little wind indicator there as well. Scoreboard, leaderboard up the top there. Uh, that's pretty much it for the game. If you get stuck and you want or if you had enough of it, again, click to the top left, go quick game. Players can also join in throughout the game as well. And that's the overview. So that's the overview for how to use your apps, uh, shot analysis, screen as well, and then quickly being able to use that data point onto the golf course as quick as you possibly can uh, because golf isn't a game where you get 100 attempts and, and away you go, we've got to try and uh, recreate the skills that we're developing more in a golf-like environment. Hope you enjoyed it. Anything else, please let me know.